everybody. Just wanted to bring you a quick tip video about doing your own cable. So, the cable that the cable company uses is known as uh, Series 6, okay? This is uh, what we call RG6. Um, you can pick this up at your hardware store, your Lowe's, um, your, uh, what's the other one called? Home Depot, uh, at a number of different places. All right, so you want to have your wire, preferably the tip, to be as straight as possible. Sometimes you might get wire and it's curved a little bit. You want to try to get it as straight as possible. Then you take your prep tool. I just put a little red tape on there, right? You want to grab your prep tool. Now your prep tool should have, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are actually two blades, all right? You're going to have an arrow. Make sure your arrow is pointing towards the end. So when we put it on, right there, and it lines up just right. Now the trick to this is to score the wire a few times, and then we're going to score it back the other way just to make sure it's nice and loose. So we go, I try to go three and one, two, three. Some people say three and two, but three and three works for me. Then I like to give it a little twist as I pull it off, all right? Now you should be left with uh, your, um, some people call it a stinger, your center conductor, um, the copper piece, whatever you want to call it. You'll have your white jacket on the outside, and then you'll have these little metal hairs. Some people call it the braid, some people call it, you know, the fray. I've heard it called a bunch of different things. Now, you want to be careful. I've been doing this for, you know, a decent amount of time, so I don't really get, you know, get them stuck on my finger but if you need to use a glove use a glove peel these down until they're all over the edge like so and you're just showing that middle foil now if you have a wire that doesn't have that center foil you might be dealing with a lower quality wire some of these actually have foil braid and foil again that is a little bit higher quality so, there's actually two types of um, connectors or F connectors or, or fittings, you know, that we recommend. There's the outdoor, and it has like this little rubber, uh, this little rubbery boot on it, weather sealed rubbery boot. Then there's the indoor, okay? Now, as you can see, there's this large black piece in the middle. What we want to do is we want to press this into here now I don't know if you can see but it's not all the way up to the edge you can't see the white against the metal so we want to press until the white is flush with the metal okay then we grab our compression tool now you see how there's like a little bit of a a little bit sticking out that's absolutely fine you don't need to trim it down um, you know you just don't need to so with our compression tool, it opens and it closes. But there's this little uh, kind of nub. We want to make sure that our centerpiece goes into that nub and that things line up. Once they get lined up, this metal piece is going to get a little bit shorter. So we can press down. And now we've got a nice, secure connector. Helps to keep radio signals in. Helps to keep outside radio signals out. And you won't have any of that pixelation or things like that. Now, one place where you could find, uh, you know, connectors that need to be replaced, classic is behind the wall plate. So if you have a little wall plate on your wall with a little cable uh, nub sticking out, take a screwdriver and unscrew it. If it's not silver, change it. And if it's the crimp on kind, definitely change it. You may want to go to... Um, your local hardware store first and uh, grab your compression tool, your fittings, uh, maybe even some extra wire um, because you may need to rewire it. Some of the wiring in some of these houses, they still use the RG59 connector. Now, if you have old 59 connectors, you can replace them with new 59 connectors. That will help to eliminate a lot of the pixelation that you get. But I recommend replacing the entire wire with RG6. Other than that, this is your boy GR8JSMO with a quick tip, and I'm at. Joanne.
ain't gon' front, you know what I'm saying? Nigga living. It's about time. CMP. Shit's going my way, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing like it. Yeah. It ain't nothing like paying the bills on time. Enough dough left to know that we still gon' shine. But it's never enough. Let me shoot some B roll. 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 B roll.